questions from me, uh, if you would, Mr Broad. Could you maybe walk us through uh, some of the impacts the construction of Snowy 2.0 had on its local community um, and local businesses and what kind of impact you think the project in Curry Curry is going to have uh, in a similar way uh, on the, within the Hunter region? Thank you. Uh, I'll go to Curry Curry first. I'm not more sure how many stands have been to Curry Curry. How many been? Mm -hmm. I've been there. It's my backyard. Mm -hmm. I come from Hutter. It's a wonderful part of the world. And Western, you're a good man. So um, I can tell you, you walk the streets of Curry Curry, all they're talking about. Your kids got a chance, they're going to get jobs. Mm. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Mm. Curry Curry, Cessnock, Maitland, Western often get left behind. Mm. It's an old industrial site. They're very, very excited. In, in terms of Snowy and I, we've made a priority to get lots of locals working there. And there's something in the order, I think there's, I, I'll, 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 I'll confirm it, something like 12 to 1,500 workers down there now, of which majority are coming from locals. Very few internationals. Um, contractors, local contractors. Mm. Um, we're a bit worried in the mountains that we don't push up the price of the, of the skilled labour. I noted the other day, I think there was something in the order of 60 logging truck drivers who lost their work on the back end of the fires. Um, the mental health and, and issues that occurred in the fires are still deep and profound in the mountains we love. Um, and the fact that we can offer work and opportunity to people <coughs> is a small part in having them recover. Do you have any um, estimates of how much investment might flow into the community and, and similarly, like the 12 to 1,500 jobs around the Cooma region, how many do you think this will generate around Curry Curry? Senator, it's... I haven't got none on top of my head, but I'll get you one. But it's yeah. significant. You can... I know in direct, direct labour, direct contractors in Cooma alone, I think it's in the order of 60 to 80 million today. Um, but uh, I'll get you a number on that. I'll convert that to dollars and yeah. give you a number. If you can take that on notice, that Thanks. would be great. Thank you very much, Mr Broad. Thank you, Chair. Senator McMahon, if you'd like to...